Loop Hero is probably one of your first 10 out of 10 games you're gonna get in 2021. Uh, it's this game is just uh, blowing up right now. It is the best way to describe it is it's kind of I mean you could combine a million things and come up with what this game is. Uh, but the way I like to describe it is kind of like an in, like an inverse tower defense, right? There's other aspects that I'm going to show you, but at its core, it's very much a tower defense game. And as such, you will probably view this and say, you know what? I'm going to wait till this comes out on mobile. Uh, and it does look like a game that would probably rock on mobile. It seriously does. Uh, it is very lo-fi graphics. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, lo-fi meaning like it's like eight to eight bits, uh, kind of apogee kind of vibes, right? Uh, like your old Amiga bullshit, like. The soundtrack is rocking, like it's such a good soundtrack. Um, and, you know, I'm about five, six hours in right now, and it's really hard to put down. It's really hard to, like, have other responsibilities and play this game at the same time. Uh, there's an aspect of it that gives kind of the uh, the uh, illusion that it's um, that you can treat it like an idler. And I want you to know that you can't really do that. You could kind of keep it in a separate window and at 1x speed and just let it kind of do its own thing, uh, but... It's very, things can fall apart very quickly, very, very quickly. So what I'm going to show you, I'm on chapter two right now, but what I'm going to show you guys is actually chapter one, which is where you're going to start. Uh, and I actually just beat chapter one. Um, I've already built a number of things. I, I can supply, I can craft. I'll show you guys some of the stuff here before we get started. All right, sorry, after we get the, after we get started with an actual run, uh, the runs themselves kind of take some time. This is your camp that you have set up. There's a whole story and everything with how you're kind of slowly unveiling everything that actually kind of ties the game together pretty well. Uh, it kind of it kind of makes sense in terms of like why do we have this procedurally generated loop that we're getting? Let me show you expedition. Uh, we're gonna go back to one. Uh, actually, you know what, before we start, so I have two classes here. We have Rogue and I have Warrior. We'll start with Warrior here. Um, and you have your deck that you can build. So yeah, there's deck building mechanics. There's Rogue Light mechanics. There's Tower Defense mechanics. Uh, the core game loop is very Tower Defense, uh, as you'll see. But these cards are obviously very important. These are like the units that you would get. Like so, whenever you uh, whenever you play like a tower defense game and you you uh, select your uh, uh, your arsenal or whatever, you're gonna go out to a certain battle or, or an encounter with. This is this is basically that. They're cards, sure, uh, and you're building a deck, sure. But you're, <laughs> all you're doing is you're building your arsenal, uh, what you're gonna take out to battle. Now, uh, the way it works is it's very intuitive the way they've kind of laid this out. Uh, so there's a couple of the different different types of cards that you could pick uh, up here at the very top. These are your um, uh, th these cards you can only have up, up you, can, you can have up to six of these so you can build up you can see up to 12 total uh, so you can really kind of lay out some of these cards like these ones here all spawn uh, they're all like on the road pretty much uh, they spawn enemies uh, on the right hand side they'll kind of give you an idea what they do uh, this one will give you a quest which pretty much spawns an enemy elsewhere on the map that's kind of an elite uh, we'll take that one out for a spin um, you have swamps this one here is all healing effects are lethal here except for the potions they are still on your side. Uh, they have these mosquitoes that are such a huge, huge pain in the ass to, to kill. Um, ruins, you see, site gives a random. Oh, you know, I haven't tried this one yet. I just, just got ruins and I just got something else. Uh, temporal beacon. Uh, yeah, speed up time by 50% within its range. Can spawn time watchers. I mean, come on, like, you play tower defense, you know what these things are. <laughs> so this thing will spawn. Uh, or sorry, so this one replaces. Uh, this road was a road lantern. No, what was the um, a beacon? That's right. This one is 40% movement speed within its range. Also, plus 20% attack speed for all units. So I didn't really like that part. Uh, I, I took this out for a little bit. It works pretty well, but um, this one I feel like it might be a little bit better because it's just straight up 50% and it spawns mobs. Uh, your oblivion card. We'll get to play that as we go. It destroys basically anything. Uh, your treasury. I'll explain that as we go. Um, and then all these are, you know, some of these are, are enemy spawners, uh, but for, mo for the most part, all of these are like next to the road things, right? So these things will be right next to the road. Uh, these things are like out in the, uh, on the uh, kind of open. And these things are uh, also out in the open, but uh, they, they, they impact the, um, except for the treasury, uh, they impact the road. This is kind of like extra bonus cards or some shit. I don't know exactly what you call them, but for the most part, you can see that there's like full moon, which means on the road, uh, half moon, which is uh, uh, next to the road, and then the whole moon, or, or sorry, no moon, which is um, uh, out in the darkness, basically. So uh, this is the deck we're going to run with. Uh, Meadows, rocks, uh, these things basically give you HP. Uh, so you want to lay those those down as much as best you can, but there's kind of a strategy to it that I'll show you. 
Uh, let me see. Oh, the right hand side, this is all your resources and everything. So this is what you're really playing for. You're playing to basically collect resources as many as you can, and you don't want to die. If you die, you only take home 30%. So sometimes it makes sense to just bail and just go straight back to camp. All right, here we go. So here's your loop. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to slow it down to 1x speed so we can kind of give you guys kind of a, the layout here. So you see we're already on one encounter. We're going to right click, we're going to go to planning mode, right click or space bar. You can play this game with just your mouse and it's no problem. Uh, so I already got a grove here. Uh, so on the right hand side you have your, uh, your your character slots and everything, your character sheet. And I already have a ring for evasion. This is actually a pretty good setup. You start off with the, uh, I started off with this because I spec'd into this in order to have this stuff. And you'll see that when I get back to camp. Uh, so I saw a shield, this and this. Now, sometimes I actually don't even put those in because if I fill this up and then I get, because you can't like throw anything away, right? Uh, so if I keep getting loot, like I just got this ring, if I keep getting loot, it'll push off the last piece over here, and that turns into a resource that you can then later uh, use for something else, like scrap metal or something like that. So sometimes I don't even use like the first three items. I, I treat that as a bonus uh, to my uh, uh, to my collection once I once it gets to the end. Um, over here you have your health, and then you have your your XP. So you can get XP. You can select perks every time you ding. And up here, this is your time of day. This is very important because there's a couple triggers in this game. Uh, there's your your day night your day cycle. So every time you hear the rooster crow, then it spawns new mobs or whatever the whatever things have a day cycle. Like for this one right here, it says spawns a rat wolf every two days. And this is the wolf can move to an adjacent tile. So for the most part, you only have like slimes starting to start with. Uh, actually, in, in all cases, in the chapter one, you only have uh, slimes sp spawning on the wasteland. Uh, wasteland is basically just the road here. Uh, and you can see 5% chance of spawning a slime once a day. And so, uh, you, I can lay this out right now, just kind of get this started here. With this here, that way we get some rat wolves uh, spawning in. Um, let me see, what else, what else, what else? Uh, oh yeah, and also, there's the uh, the map completion. So as bar is filled, the boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile. Now, something to note, when, the, when he does appear here, he kind of builds like this rune circle around him, and he, and he'll, he will appear right here. You can still run to camp and avoid him. That's his button right here, so if I hold this down, then it will it'll uh, basically automatically check in here at the next run and it'll give me an option to want to stay and continue to do my loop or to want to leave with all of my loot uh there's also this option here where i can just uh, retreat keep your 60 percent of all resources found so if i'm somewhere where like let's say if i if there's like a shitload of mobs or something like that that i know i'm not gonna make it through i could keep 60 percent of my stuff and sometimes i've never done that and i really should have in a lot of cases <laughs> There's too often where I've actually just like allowed myself to lose a lot of crap because I thought, oh, maybe I can get through it. All right, so while I think other guys running here, uh, so I have ruins. So this gives a random basic resource shard upon visit. Spawns a scorch worm every two days. So let's go and put this uh, here, and then uh, we'll see what happens when I visit it. See temporal beacon. Hold on. Take care of the slime. So slimes and the mobs that you destroy will give you random, like random cards, or they'll give you random loot. Like I got this, the max HP. Uh, so this max HP is only five HP more. In the beginning, you're probably gonna want to, oh, every time I get an upgrade, throw it in, throw it in. No, no, no. Let them build up. Let them build up because a couple of reasons. One, like I already explained to you, the scrap metal thing, right? Yes, you want to keep the scrap metal. And two, you also want. Um, Sometimes you have to kind of change the way that you like your spec basically because there's a ton of different stats right now You only see damage makes it max HP defense and evasion if I throw another uh, Piece of equipment on that has a stat that's not listed here. It will be added to this So for example damage to all uh, I'll put this here and you'll see now it's damaged all here so there are times damage to all is basically like a cleave Okay, there are times when you're going to want to like maybe you're like okay I'm gonna fight the boss and I did this the last match that I played uh, I'm gonna fight the boss I need to swap all of my gear out for single target gear because I had a lot of damage to all equipment and that was not gonna fly so I let this build up as best I could so that we could get through all the enemies to get to him and then I swapped everything over uh, see treasury treasury is pretty dope so what I'd like to do with the treasury is I throw it in the corner here and then as I get mountains and stuff I throw it on it because every time this is right here it says give a random resources after playing placing anything on an adjacent tile but you can't build it adjacent to anything right so you go boom 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 all the way around it and then once you complete a circle then it basically spits out a shitload of of, uh, of resources and it'll spawn a gargoyle every once in a while so it's a pretty good setup you get one of those sit in the corner and just start popping mountains and rocks around it until you fill it up i gotta put some of the stuff down here guys uh so chrono crystals this will basically double the effect of anything so for example metal here is deals uh, heals two hp at the start of every day right but if i take this and i'll say i'll place this on the corner here 
and what this does is it doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles, and I plop this right next to it. And by the way, if I plop it right next to it, it's actually 3 HP because it turns to a blossom. Right? Bloom- oh sorry, Blooming Meadow. So now it's- that uh, heals 3 HP at the start of each day. But because it's right next to this, now you can see it's plus 6. So there's a lot of like, of just like basic math, right? You're just like, okay, if, if I position this here, this here, you can start to kind of play with the different synergy between different cards, and then kind of allow that to, uh, uh, to, to, to continue, uh, or allow that to kind of stack and uh, work in your favor. I need to get all these other things down. So there's another Rat Wolf, let's go with those here. We're gonna have a bunch of Rat Wolves through here. And um, then Blood Groves, we put these right next to these things. Uh, Blood Groves, what they do is, um, yeah, it roots devour enemies at 50, uh, less than 15% HP, which is kind of nice, really, really nice, which you get in later levels, and you have like three different rat wolves are fighting. Alright, so speeds up time. So let's see, which are afraid of vampires in this aura. So let's do this. We'll put this guy here. And we'll leave this one alone, because I don't know what to do with that yet. Alright, here we go. So you guys get the gist. Let's go this to, to times two speed. Woo! Okay. We're gonna pause it for a second just to put the stuff down. And then we have a village. Villages are nice because they will, um, they'll give you a quest. Like I said, they'll give you a quest which pretty much spawns another mob. I got three slimes of the speed right there on the other side of this. Defense four, so you're not really worth it throwing this up there right now. So we got, yeah, we got HP and we got a quest, which is essentially an elite mob. Let's see, uh, so a little bit of the enemy, okay, boom. It's a little bit of HP on that one. We're not going to use it. Let me see. That was the quest. So cool. So I got a bunch of loot. Let's see, throw this here. And then Blood Grove, we could throw the Blood Grove here, I guess. Let me see, can be placed in the air for us? Okay, it's reached for our enemies. Okay, this is actually gonna be kind of, uh, it's not really gonna, it's not gonna double up or anything, so we'll leave that there. We have another meadow, so what we'll do is we'll start to build out this a little bit more. Now these things get the extra bonus if you build adjacent to something, right? And since I already have this here, and I know I'm gonna put, I, I know I could put a, um, uh, one of these chrono things here, here. I'll put this here to get that blossom, uh, that uh, blooming meadow bonus of another additional HP there, and then just come back around when I have a, uh, a chrono thing to throw there. Okay, so it says that they're afraid, it says that it spawns time watchers, which are afraid of vampires in this aura. I wanted to see what happens when I place this here, because the vampires will only spawn uh, when there's an encounter. So they don't appear on the road, but if there's an encounter here, like a rat wolf or something like that, and I, and I hit it, then a vampire will, will come to its aid, basically, and you'll fight the vampire as well. Now, here we go. Now is our first day, or second day. I've lost track already. <laughs> it's our rat wolf. You can hover over to see the stats if you want to. Damage 6.98, and you can see the attacks per second, 0.75. That's really good if you want to, if you know you're going to be fighting a lot of a certain kind of enemy, and you know what your attack uh, uh, speed is, uh, then you can uh, start to um, you know, calculate what you're going to do versus it. So this is living and has a soul. Does this one have... Oh, come on. Now, you can set the game to, if you want to play this a little bit more idle-like, there's a couple different ways you could do that, right? Let me pause it real quick. Over here in the settings, options menu, you have the option to automatically pause at the end of a loop or automatically pause after a battle. So if you are like, if you're somebody who's like kind of watching on the side or whatever, you can just have it pause after every battle or after every loop. Um, and then it's a battle and hovering and all that good stuff. So, you know, it's 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 kind of handy to have, especially when you're first starting out, to, to do that and just let it to uh, just let it continue to. Um, uh, uh, stop every time you're doing it. That way you can you know, be distracted if you wanted to and, and learn about all the different things and look over your stats and all this stuff. More rocks. Good. But yeah, somebody came in my chat last week and they were like, they were like, oh man, you gotta play this game. Here we go. We got the chrono thing we're looking for. Put that there. Another meadow adjacent so that way it gets the bonus. It will fill in the gaps here with these other ones because they get the, they still get the double the double bonus as well. So let's see what we have. We have evasion and we have defense. So like, see, nothing here is really worth swapping out. Like, I'm doing just fine without it. My health is still pretty high. I'm not really worried about it. There's Oblivion card. You notice that it has uh, all three moons on it. Basically what that means, oh, so here we go. Here's the Scorch Worm that we knew that that thing was going to spawn. And, of course, we have the Vampire. Uh, so we're not going to see the Time Lord or whatever that um, that tower is going to spawn uh, in, in this area anyways because of the Vampire. Interesting. Very cool. Um... Let me see, and see, minus 6% damage, see Archer in close combat, so Archer takes part in battles and adjacent titles. Okay, okay, because you learn everything you want about, about these characters by hovering over them. And it helps because then it allows you, oh, he, for example, he's got a buff here. Uh, oh, Archer in close combat, oh, okay, okay, so it's Archer. 
That's his archer buff or whatever. Here we go. Let's see. This is a pretty big jump right here. I think I might take this, but I'm gonna wait after this guy's dead. You could swap gear while you're fighting, by the way. And I've done that a number of times. I've swapped out. Ha! Ah, see? Good thing I waited because it's a vampirism gear. Vamp. Oh, wow, it's actually way better. See? See? Wait. Um, vampirism is pretty dope. It just basically you, you hit you hit for X amount and it'll give you back X percent, and that's pretty much it. And you can stack that. I've had that stacked to fifty percent. It's amazing. Uh, but you know, you swap specs. Don't think you're gonna go into this and just be like, oh, I'm gonna swap specs like you know constantly. You're not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. You're not gonna stick with one spec. Sorry. Uh, you're not gonna stick with one spec. It's just not gonna happen. You're gonna be constantly, 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 constantly swapping out. Uh, uh, based off of who you're going to be encountering and as you're building this out. You could kind of tailor your own, bec because it's kind of a, the tower defense vibe, you could kind of tailor the map to whatever works for you. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Scorchworm out here. Archer takes part in battles and adjacent tiles. Ah, that's, well, that's what it meant. Ooh, man. So what happens then? I'm curious. This is new to me. Okay, so he doesn't he doesn't actually he just basically spits from a distance. What a jerk. Uh, give a random basic resources upon a visit, spawn a scorch room every two days. I am like not sure if I want to spawn another one. <laughs> Dang, I mean he's gonna be spitting like that, but I get a ba a random basic resource. Yeah, I don't know if that random basic resource is worth it when I'm like just you know, pulling all kinds of resources left and right. Um, let me see. So no nothing good here. Again, the vampirism's great. The sword is kinda whack, but we'll probably get another one here soon. Now where do I put another blood grove down? Here we go. Let's see. Um, this is much better, and it gives me two different stats. So I can start building on my counter and evasion. That's pretty good. Nine and eight percent. You don't actually see the weapon. The character looks the same no matter what. I have an encounter I'm about to run into right now, but I'm gonna. I need to stack some other stuff though before I let him do that. Uh, so to have another village. We'll put the village over here. The village again. They give you a buff as you go through them. So it's kind of nice to have that. Oh, it, there's another card that actually helps augment that buff as well. Um, but it's kind of nice to get, not buff, uh, heal. So it's kind of nice to have that just kind of scattered about. But anyways, the Oblivion card, I didn't explain it. It has all three moon cards here, or moon uh, units, I guess, on it. Uh, you can use that to nuke stuff. So sometimes you have like a lot of enemies or something that are appearing somewhere and you're like, I can't have it. For example, I have these, ban these bandits here, right? Bandits are a pain in the ass. So I'm just gonna go like this and just nuke it, done. Um, also works for enemies on the road, so if you like, you know, for example, I have three of these rat wolves coming up, right? Like, maybe if I feel like I couldn't handle that, then I would go ahead and nuke them as well. Uh, so here we go. Damage to all two, uh, replaced with, uh, attack speed, evasion, and vampirism. Again, this is a lot of stats there, so... The white ones typically are just like, they're just like single stack, uh, like not cards, uh, items. So these ones will almost always just have one stat, it's like a common item. Uh, the blue ones will have two, uh, and then once you get up, then you got three. And I, I don't, it's not necessarily totally consistent like that. Like the, the, the yellow ones, maybe they are, maybe yellow are always three and the orange are always four. Um, yellow three, yeah, but it's probably, it's probably the way it is. But, um, yeah, the whites are pretty consistent, and the whites can sometimes be... Uh, I've noticed that in, in, in sometimes the whites will give you, or the commons, whatever, the grays, uh, they'll sometimes give you a fat stat, like, because it's a single stat, right? But they'll give you a fat stat, like, I got, like, a 20% vampirism on one ring, and it's like, bruh, hell yeah, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> of course, you know, it depends on your build, too, you know, like, your, your build may not call, call for that. I'm gonna do the same thing here, like, I did it, I'm just doing it everywhere else. Lots of vampires stuff. Now, I can let this build up and start a new quest. Uh, I can let this build up and eventually it'll get kicked off if I have more than 13 cards. Okay, yeah, here are all the rats. Ooh, boy. Come on. More meadows, good. Now, there are goblins that will probably start appearing once I get more, more rocks put down. I think on my 10th rock or something, or 10th rock or 10th meadow, something like that. You see the vines come out and take care of them? That's the way those, uh, those groves work. Uh, the, uh, yeah, blood groves. Okay, put this down. We should see a goblin camp pat pop pop up here at some point. Uh, maybe the next, next couple. Goblins have a unique ability where they will, um, they have kind of an enrage that triggers whenever their uh, companion goes down. You can't select, you're not, you notice I'm not playing, it's, it's automatically playing, right? I was a little turned off with this at first. Oh, I lost count, what is this? Lost count, what does that mean? Hold on, you stop. What do I get? Uh, kill 1,000 enemies. Boy, I'm busy. Um, anyways, yeah, so, like, they'll, they'll, they'll pop out. Where's it at? Where's it at? Ah, yeah, weird. Okay, so notice I got a ton of things there. Uh, let's see, mountain. Looks like a rock, but really big. Um, 
let me see, I don't have anything to destroy that middle one. No, okay. There is another type of mountain called a peak, but I have to replace this with one of these or build another nine out. So I'm gonna hold on to that for a minute. Meanwhile, I'm gonna build this, keep building this out here. Um, anyways, yeah, goblins should show up. Oh, was that, was that one right there? That was probably a goblin camp right there. Maybe. Stop. Uh, battlefield, okay, no, never mind. They, I mean, some of these sprites look <laughs> a little similar. Uh, keep going. Lots of, I mean, lots of these groves, man. I could put a grove down and then put a blood grove next to it, and that'll be pretty easy to handle, I think. It's gotta be far away from this nonsense because of these guys are spitting all over the place. I'll put it here and then put the other one right next to it. There we go. Yeah, like this is gonna be mean. Like, I'm not gonna like this at all. <laughs> this is gonna be not fun. Let's see, 349. Ooh, equal vampirism, but I will lose that's my attack speed is a 12%. Uh, let's see, my evasion. Yeah, I, I think the other one is pretty well balanced. I'll keep that. I'm not really getting anything but health. I was getting more vampirism, maybe. But this is, I mean, I'm, I'm not really doing too hot. These, these scorch worms here. They're hurting me here. Let's see. So it takes part in a battle on adjacent tiles. So range combat, third row, 30 minus 30% damage in second row, and 6% damage in the first row. Okay, wow. Wow. Let's see, this is damage. Let's see, it's vampirism. More damage to all. Am I gonna have to do that? Oh, here we go. Ooh, this is a good one. So it's a it's an upgrade, first of all, and also it gives you magic damage and damage to all. So we'll throw that guy in there. Alright, I already got a good selection of oranges. Love it. A little bit of health there. Nothing there. Another little bit of health there. I'm almost maxed. I have no actual regen. Notice my health is just kind of staying stagnant, unless I'm going through one of those uh, one of those passes. Uh, whoa, man! Look what's coming up. Okay, so 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 so. This is where you stop and you're like, okay, do I need to respec a little bit in order to handle this better? I have damage to all at four, which is nothing. Uh, and I'm about to run into like four things right here, so that's gonna be painful. My weapon is doing all doing all four. Let me see. Do I have a? Let me see. Regen, uh, defense. I don't have a whole lot of things with four. My ring does two. I'll throw that in there. Like any little bit's gonna count at this point. Uh, let's see. Do I have a shield with regen? Regen for second. Oh, here it goes. Ten. Okay, there we go. That's definitely gonna be better. Of course, I should have put that a long time ago. Um. Sometimes I just stall. It's just like, ah, I can wait a little bit longer, wait a little longer. Okay, cool. So now I have a little bit of regen, and my damage to all is at a 5 now. So, now also, because I'm going to hit all these guys, um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and start plopping down some of these cards. Uh, just so I can have the extra extra bonus. I'm not. I, I'd like to wait sometimes to to build a stack, so that way I can like get another one of these and just kind of dunk on all those resources. Uh, but again, we're kind of getting to the point where we're going to start running into problems here, so... So just one. I'll we'll pause again. Do a quick search. Put the rocks down. Get another five HP or whatever. This this is gonna be a rough fight because this guy's also an elite too. 194 health. That's why we get that damage to all cleave. Here we go. And then the vines take them when they get down to 15%. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, what is this? What is this? Hold up. Let me see. Uh, damage, defense, nothing good. And then defense up. Okay, cool. Oh wow, it's not as uh. I mean, he still took a chunk of health, but a lot of that is because we planned frantically. <laughs> we planned frantically. Oh man, this gargoyle came from the um, from uh, the tower, as they do. Ooh, that's a good amount of regen. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should have stacked in some regen. Vampirism is at six percent. Not really worth keeping. But damage to all two. But I have four here. I know I just stacked some of that, but, um... Hold on a second. If that's four, and that is two, why is it six? What am I losing here? Hmm. Oh, wow. Damage to all shields. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and ditch that. Go here. And then regen per second is three. That'll make up for that. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh, gosh. A ghost. This is a ghost of a ghost, basically. Oh, wow. This is new. I haven't seen this. Prime Matter. Uh, damage 18.3. Yeah, this is totally new to me, this guy. Usually, I've seen the ghost turn into a ghost of a ghost, but, uh, or a soul of a soul, or whatever it is, but, um, that, not beyond that. Alright, so I have Oblivion here, so I can quickly, basically, nuke this, and then I'll put this here, and now this turns into a peak, which gives me an additional 120 health. Cool. And then we'll start laying down some other things here to kind of take advantage of those, if we can. 
And then no Chrono Crystals anywhere. The Temporal thing. Uh, what if I should put it over here? I mean, those Time Watchers. I haven't seen one yet. Oh, there's a Goblin Camp right there, too. Dang, I should have nuked that. There's the Goblin Camp right there. So, yeah, after you put down so many things, I think it's like, what is that, like 10? Let me see. Um, ah, it tells you on the damn card here. Pause. Uh, let's see. This that spawns that come to up here uh, for every 10? Yeah, every 10 mountain rock piles. There you go. Uh, and then again, you could just nuke it if you wanted to get rid of it. Okay, let's see. Rock. Let's see. Rock Mountain. Rock Mountain. Run, leave it alone. And these guys are being. Oh, man. Look at all these things spawning. Whoa, dude. But damage all is good. It's seven. But it's, um. I mean, you know, the more the better. 6% regen. The regen's good. Six, uh. What is it? Vampirism. Okay, let see. Magic damage counter. Vampirism. Eight. Oh, that's a lot. Um. See, magic damage, evasion. Okay, I'll keep going. I'm gonna suffer through these because I want the resources. These matches can last uh, easily like 45 minutes. Easily 45 minutes. I've been sitting here like sometimes just like, yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and do this thing real quick. <laughs> so, yeah, like in a minute, and then what happens? Just sitting here like freaking an hour later. Uh, again, build this thing adjacent to uh, to something that's not a meadows. We'll turn it into a um, a blossom. I'll put it here. There we go. Bump on that. Double, or not double, but uh, an additional one HP. I'll take it. Okay, lots of mounds. We're getting lots of mounds here. Our health is still great, though. Oh, God, let's see. Look at all. Oh, one of them's an elite, too. Oh, this next pass is going to be rough. Hold on. Whoa. Hold on a second. Oh, man. And we also might get, what is this thing? A Time Lord? Time Watchers? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, I'm not waiting for anything else. This is going to be a rough one. Okay, let's go throw these guys down. Throw this down. Throw this down. Ah, missed. I need everything I can get right now. Wait, what is this? Uh, damage to all two. Uh, regen per second. So regen's low. Damage to all is pretty high. I think I need damage for all to all more than anything else right now. Okay, here we go. This is a bad. This is a streak right here. This is a rough one. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot of HP up. Um, damn, that's a lot of HP up. I think I'm gonna take that and just screw the vampirism. I mean, I'll get, I'll get the, the potion heals from it. Okay, let's pause it here. Whoa, man, that's some loot. Okay, hold on. Let's put some stuff down. Let's try to put this in places that make sense, too. Put a lot, build it out here just to get that extra bonus. Um. Okay. Regen. That's, I mean, that's pretty strong. That's really strong. The damage to all is not there. That sucks. Max HP. Okay. Regen. That's a great regen, too. Dang. Oh, man. No, I mean, I can't take him right now because I need the damage to all, especially come up with these next, these next couple battles here. Oh, baby. Check him. Check him. Regen. Fat regen. But no, I can't take it right now. We're gonna do some serious. I'm gonna start losing stuff actually. Oh, vampirism 10%. Oh man, let's get rid of my vampirism stuff. Okay, slow this down. Here we go, big fight. Wow. This is this is Hall's This is the Watcher. Uh, Benefactor gives an ally 25 magic armor instead of attacking only once per creature. Flees if there are no targets for its ability. Oh wow. Oh, I guess I take it out first, I guess. That's good. Smart, smart. Target support, target support. And he drops what? Damage to all. Uh, way more damage and counter. Okay, we'll take that. Same damage for all, though. This is good. We're not losing anything. Uh, regen per second, 1.2. 1.6. Damage to all. Regen is great. Oh, man. I keep looking at regen as like, I want that stat because... Oh, hold on a second. I have a, I have a thing here. Gosh, I totally missed this. <laughs> I've got two of them. I'm so busy trying to explain everything. I'm not paying attention. All right, so I have two th two traits to spend, right? You guys probably saw that. You're like, oh my god, click it. Listen, man, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to explain and to play the game at the same time. All right, Blade of Dawn. Every morning, the hero's sword is filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to deal two times damage to all. This is actually a sick ability, uh, and actually, it might trigger right now if I activate it. Uh, supplies the hero at least 10 percent of his findings at camp when he passes through a campfire tile, which is kind of cool. Battering Ram, the hero pushes into battle head-on with the first attack, a 74% chance to stun each enemy for one second. Uh, let's do this. I think it might trigger right now. Uh, now I have another one. We see 10% findings, plus 1.5 uh, damage for every potion used. And 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Doesn't work for the golden cards. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, let's try that. 
There it is. Bam. I was hoping for that. Yeah, every time I've activated it before, it's the beginning of the day technically, but every time I've activated activated it before, it's um it's triggered right away. Okay, cool. Wow, like, and two come out immediately. You see that? Two came out. Two freaking uh cobbits come out just instantly. Ah, uh, another treasury. God, I've been waiting for one of these things, man. What you doing? <laughs> All right, let's put it up. Uh, let's put it up over here, and then we'll start uh, surrounding with something. I don't know. Oh man, this game is sometimes stressful. The boss fight had my heart racing. Jeez. Let's see, vampirism 17%. That might be something to throw in there just to start beefing that uh, that health back up. Let me see, should I get a regen shield right now? Let's see what's on the map. I mean, we have single, 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 double. And it's gonna be another day, so we're gonna have probably another one. This thing's flying where? Oh, it's gonna fly right here in front of me, of course. Let me see, magic damage, regen, no vampirism, any of this stuff. No, 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 no. 10% on this guy, though. I mean, this is a great way to get my health back up, but I'm hurting right now, so let's do it. So notice I'm doing more damage. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm healing for more than this guy's doing damage for. And that's what it's for. Let me see, meadows, we'll slap this down over here. All the resources. Oh, time watcher guy is pretty dope. Oh, look at that, see? See, the rooster crows and three three blades come out, so it's just fantastic. Fantastic. That was easy. Jeez, oh cool, yeah, this is a, uh, a perk. Um, I, I don't remember exactly what it does, but I'll explain, I'll show it when we, when we get back to camp. It's something I expect into. This game gets deep. It's crazy. Oh god damn it! Another one. Jeez. Oh, ah. It's late. I'm trying to relax right now. <laughs> I'm trying to relax right now, so I can go to bed. Playing this game is dumb. <laughs> Let's see. Damage to all is two, but my uh, this is overall not that great. This guy. Let's see. Uh, regen, pretty good, but I lose that damage to all, which is not a lot. But the current regen is what. Nothing. I have no regen right now. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. If I can't stack it, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna work, just deal with the, just use uh, vampirism. Oh, we evaded my morning, my rooster's crow attack. Ah, look at this. Yeah. Let's see. Forty-one percent. You guys are gonna get the whole show today. This is great. Look at that. Ten, twelve, five, fifteen. Give it to me. Let's see Grove. Oh man, sounds a rat wolf every. Do I have a... No, I don't have a blood grow. Okay, I'm not gonna put, down, I'm not gonna put anything else down. I, th I have a feeling like this is gonna be the... <laughs> outside of things to buff myself, this is gonna be it. Now, when these cards run off, and I start, like, trashing them, uh, they'll turn into... Ah, oh, here we go. Let's nuke this guy. See ya. Jeez. And then let's hope uh, we get another one before we get here. We won't, but, you know, we can always hope. Um... What was I saying? Jesus Christ, I don't remember. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, it's a lot of loot here. Hold on. Vampirism 8 uh, to what? Oh, hmm. I mean, more vampirism is always great. We lose some health though. Let's do it. Yeah, our swings should start healing us for a lot right now. Good. Oh, yes, yeah, so yes. Yeah. So anytime your card runs off the edge here. Oh, this guy's in rage. Look and see. I told you. Rage. His alley went down. Evade so high. Give me a break, dude. Uh, more vampirism, uh, but uh, not as much as the other one. Okay, so if I get more cards, it turns into a memory, right? This is all your resources and everything, right? Right here, this is a memory fragment. So rumors, myths, and someone's illusions. It's basically a, um, a currency that you can use when you get back to camp. Uh, one of the core parts of the plot is that uh, nobody really remembers what happened. The world is dark. I uh, think like Thor Dark World, right? But also everybody's memories are like wiped as well. So like the world is dark. There's no light. You're kind of discovering everything on your own. You're, when you're placing these tiles, you are technically remembering that that was there kind of thing. It's really kind of an interesting uh, and unique story. Uh, but uh, you know, outside of that, you guys can just kind of play it and just kind of see it for yourself. But mountains, gotta put the mountains down. Um, let's go ahead and surround this guy. Just to continue to take... Oh shit, I should have put it there. Uh, putting it adjacent, I could have put a blossom there, and uh, or a uh, uh, blooming meadow. Let me see, grove, village, the village. See, heals you, gives you a quest. Oh man, I mean that comes so handy. My dude's right here. 
Let me see. Uh, we could put it here. Did I not? Maybe I don't have the uh, the 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 field, the corn field, or whatever. Because the the corn field or whatever that card is gives you uh, it augments the, the the healing power of this like by an additional like forty five or something like relatively significant. Uh, let me see. Can we? It's roots of our enemies. Hmm. I wonder if the, these things don't stack, right? I don't know if they stack. But it only goes next to. Oh, you know what though? It'll come in handy here. Oh, sorry. It's already covered there. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. It was for aesthetics. <laughs> So you can play this game long enough to like have so many of these squares built up. It's pretty crazy how much stuff you can have built up. Okay, I'm just pause it until after this fight here. But this vampire is working out pretty well, as you can see. I'm slowly, slowly building up. There he goes, memory. Doo -doo -doo. Makes a boop boop sound. Put this down here as so we get another chest. This is just basically spawns a chest. And then let me see the mountain with the mountain here in the corner. Uh, oh, cool! We got to keep that car. There it is. Nice, very nice. Let's see ruins, gives a random base. See, this probably would have been handy, but this fucking scorch worms are just a huge pain in the ass. Okay, this is gonna be oh man, this is gonna be hard, especially because I do not have my my um, damage to all. I'm going in pure, pure single single target damage. Let me see. Uh, not good. Relying on vampirism to carry me. As it's been. Come on. Good. Meadow. There you go. Should go ahead just finish it off. Ching, ching, ching. Oh, got more meadows. Sweets. We'll throw them all down. All of them have to go down. There we go. No more villages. <laughs> no more villages. No more nothing. Where everything else is gonna turn into a memory. Oh, hold on. What was this? Oh yeah, we already got that. Did we? Wait, hold on a second. Did we get this one? Magic damage, counter evasion. I've lost track already. So it's the morning. Ah, blast them. More rocks. Now he gets actually he gets buffed for every when he's next to other rocks. That was kind of a dumb place to put that, I think. I want the regen though, the everyday regen. Let me see. What was again? Five each for each adjacent rock or mountain, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So. So, spreading these out to put these here, maybe not the best plan because this deals th heals 3 HP, so I'm getting an additional 2 HP between the two of these. Um, well, I get basically additional 6 HP every day, but only additional 2 because I placed them adjacent to this and I also got the resources. So maybe this isn't the best combination here. Like, there's going to be some min-maxing going on with like what's the best layout, what's the best combination of meadows to rocks kind of thing. You're also going to have other land cards that come in later. Uh, that you're going to be able to spend uh, in order to get more resources and all that. So uh, early game stuff, there's definitely a better setup than this. I've been doing this pretty much for the most part, and this is my first time kind of trying to combining the two. But now that I'm looking at it, it's like, mm, maybe it's probably not the best configuration. All right, here we go. Come on. Okay, good. Blood growth. Sweet. Got a thing. What is this? Uh, good amount of health, but no vampirism. Could really use more vampirism. 19% counter though. Ooh, man. Counter is just like, you know, they attack you, they attack, and you just have a chance to basically counter attack immediately. It's counter, right? Okay, hold up. I'm gonna pause after this. See, that you go into the next encounter so quickly, sometimes having that automatic pause thing is... could be pretty handy. Okay, so that's there. Oh, look, I got that card back already. 10%. 10% happen pretty often. I like it. Unlike other games. Alright. Blast them. Nice. Crumble. Good. I'll pause again. Got a mimic. Living but does not have a soul. With all these memories I'm getting. Hey. Stack. Okay, we got yeah, we got another goblin hangout here. This is this might actually be the last circle here. Oh Jesus, this might be this might be the last encounter here. The shield on this guy. I'm just fighting. Oh gosh. Now he's enraged. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, you can do it. He just used a potion. That's what the sound was. He's gonna use another potion in a second, I think. Yep, there it is. Good. What do we got? 
Vampirism 10, uh, counter 12%. What was the other one that had a counter? Oh, it was also on a weapon, okay. Damn, if I was on a shield or something like that, I might have swapped just to have like stack countering. This is an elite character too, on top of everything else. There it is. Oh, oh stop, stop. Oh gosh, <laughs> I didn't stop it fast enough. Uh. See attack speed, okay, cool. Okay, stop. Vampirism, nine, it's down. Regen, okay. I'm gonna need some fat vampirism if I'm gonna ditch this vampirism gear, seriously. Like, I can't just get into this is weak ass, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Way less than what I'm currently running. Uh, let's see, treasure. Let's get another treasury out. We can't put it adjacent to anything. See how this kind of screws up the layout because I've expanded so much? So now I have to put this here and I can start laying stuff around it. Oh, I got another treasury. Oh, that's actually pretty sick. There we go. Okay. This is gonna be rough. This strip right here is gonna suck. Oh, all this is gonna suck. These these watchers. Oh, wow. I was gonna say these watchers are a pain in the ass, but then I just one shot them. <laughs> Hold up! Oh gosh! <laughs> See, damage to all versus what? Vampirism 8. Okay, that might be worth it, actually. We'll lose a little bit of vampirism, but we could do a little bit of damage to everybody. Okay. Oh, he doesn't- oh, look, he does not enrage when the Watcher goes down. Oh, huh. Only when, a uh, when an ally, I guess- well, he goes down- when a slime goes down, he will, um, enrage. So basically, just the Watchers don't count. Might be a bug, or might be by design. Ah. <sighs> I'm not gonna sleep. Oh my god. Thank god I got that little tiny little bit of damage to all, man. Five damage that adds up. Really does. What is this? What is this? Stop. Let me see. Uh, Vampirism 8%. Uh, and a lot of other stuff. See, defense, evasion too. No, gosh. I mean, it's great, but it's not that great. Like, it's not enough. I told you, these single cards, these single rings, single uh, gray items can sometimes have fat numbers on them. What is this? What is this? What is this? Every time something comes in, this is what it's like. You're just like, what is this guy put it in? This is why I don't understand how people can play this on like a second monitor or something like that. <laughs> it needs all my full attention <laughs> at all times. Uh, let's see, defense 22. That's fat defense. And okay, that might be worth to go ahead and, and swap out. Yeah, that's pretty good defense on a single thing. Let me see, vampirism. Uh, okay, yes, it's basically the same thing. 14. Oh, this thing in the distance. Oh, and that's an elite harpy as well. Now, when you first play, every time you counter like a harpy for the first time or a vampire for the first time, like there's a neat little kind of story that goes along with it, which is why I'm not starting over, like making a new save slot to show you guys this, because it's kind of cool how they kind of tie into the story and they do some world build building with them. But I didn't get it. I mean, the Scorchworm didn't give me like a story or anything like that. It just kind of showed up and started spitting shit at me. Okay, hold up. <laughs> Freeze! Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go start throwing these things down. Get as many resources as we can. Nothing else here is really gonna help me out. Okay, we got three. Oh, a couple slimes in the harpy. We got this. My health is hurting though, man. This is a tough one to stream too because, you know, this is this is a game of infinite possibilities, right? There's so many things you could do. And so everybody that watches it has a different idea of how they want, how they would place things, you know? So it's one of those games where it's like, oh, streamer, why didn't you? Oh, look at that shot. Uh, that's actually a great, that's my thumbnail right there. Hold up. Let me see if I can grab that. <laughs> oh, I should have done that. <laughs> Boop. Okay, there we go. Go back to the game. <laughs> Don't worry, we got it. <laughs> I could have totally gone through the video later and grabbed it. Oh, God, we're going right into the, the fray here. Hold on. Uh, let's see, damage to all two, so it's down, but I get vampirism 15%. Okay, that's great. Let's throw that in there. Uh, let's see, defense attack speed. Okay, good. Vampirism, okay. Oh, vampirism ring 18%. Okay, so a little bit better than that. Good. Um, nothing else we really thought would help us right this second, so let's go into this let's fight with what? With 54% vampirism, the highest vampirism I've ever had. Uh, let me see, damage to all is only two, which is super weak, but hopefully the vampirism offset it. I'm healing for a good amount. Real good amount. Harpy down. Oh, the roots. Love the roots. Doo -doo Come on. Evade nothing. No, no, no. Going to planning mode right now. 
There we go. Get some rocks out here. Um, let me see. Okay, good. Chrono crystals. Like I don't need chrono crystals right now. I don't need anything spawning more often than it already is. Oh, with a blast! Look at that. Let's see defense. Okay. Damage to all fourteen. Oh my god. See, common ones, man. I'm telling you. That's the min max. Those are the min, min max gear. You see, so you see a streamer one with all grays at high levels and shit. You pay attention. <laughs> that dude's min maxing hard. My vampirism is so high right now, though. Like I could probably sacrifice that in order to get that 14. Let's let's pause after this and see where we're um. What do we have ahead of us? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right here. Yeah. We're gonna swap it out. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna happen. Uh, let me see. Count wow, counter 24! God damn, that's crazy. Although I've had a really high counter and it has it still feels like it's like way less than what it says. Uh so let's do this. Let's swap this out here. You get 14, 16 on a swing. We should be cleaving these fools. Look at this. Bam. 15. 15. Jesus. Oh man. Oh, got him back. No, we're spawning goblin shit all over the place too, which is really bad. I'm not getting my oblivion cards fast enough. What are these things called again? Flesh golem. We got one memory. So yeah, we see my vampirism is still really good. Like, yeah, it's still really high. Let's stop with the meadows around this thing. I'm not gonna put this thing down to the spawn another. I mean the chests are great and everything, but they're kinda adding to my problems too. <laughs> What is this ring? Uh, damage all down. Vampirism seven. Oh yeah, it's it's no, it's not good. Oh man, are we gonna make it to a boss, dude? If I make it to a boss, we're gonna go for it. Like I don't care, we're gonna go for it. This is this is oh my god, look at these guys. <laughs> See, this is why I had to switch. There's so many. I forgot the watcher was gonna be there too. First, first, first. Let me dig through here real quick. Uh, vanity counter. Okay, no, keep going. What is this ring again? Okay, just checking. This guy's enraged. Got a mountain. Oh gosh, we got ghosts coming out of this. We got ghosts. Done. What is this? What is this? Defense evasion. Okay, no. Okay. Rocks. Oh, thank God it didn't spawn like a million ghosts. Ghosts and then a ghost of a ghost and then a ghost prime and then ghost supreme the ghost omega. Jesus. Okay, let's we'll see. Every piece of gear, dude. This is how you're gonna play it too. Every piece of gear that comes in, you're gonna be like, what is that? Oh, nice. Waste that morning buff on that guy. Cool. <laughs> Damage. Okay, yeah, the ring. Nothing's gonna replace this ring for a while, I think. Not until we get to a boss. To, to the boss. But we need it for all these mobs. Look at this. This is a great build. This is a super... Man! So I record videos and shit for you guys, and I always get some shit-ass build, or some... Sh I do, like, do really terrible and everything, and this is a great... This is a great build. Like, I'm very pleased with this so far. <laughs> like, I'm like, yay, finally! <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, Vampirism 10. Ooh, up. Ooh, down on shield on defense. Up on damage to all. Attack speed is same. This is this is good. This is actually, yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, this is gonna be an inter interesting battle here. All the oh, ah! I didn't mean like that. I wasn't paying attention to the time of day. <laughs> Just annihilated. Oh god, 2.4 regen on this one. Dude, that's pretty good. What is this? Uh, okay. Okay, let's pause real quick. Let's throw, let's throw some stuff down. I want the extra bonus. Got an extra gear damage to all up. And vampirism, no vampirism on it. Okay. Now, you know, once we get to the end of the day, which is gonna happen here in a second, this next rotation here, once I get really close to this camp, I'm gonna start going through my gear and start swapping things out because that's what I'm gonna to need to switch from this damage to all bullshit. Like this ring is gonna be useless on this last boss, completely useless. So I need to, let me see, is there something I can get this better right now? Okay, you just gotta keep track. Of course, the one time I didn't get any rings. Just gotta hope for some rings, good rings. Because again, that ring is completely useless on the last boss, it's just one guy. I'm not gonna get a ring, am I? Oh 
Come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, I gotta be careful because it's gonna replace everything. Oh, that ring disappeared. Oh, I got a better another one. Okay, this is yeah, I get it. this is better. A any ring is gonna be better than than a gray one because the gray one is pure damage to all. So any ring's gonna be better. All right, planning phase right now. Just pause. Get everything in here. Boom. Boom. Should have put that here just to kind of maximize that. All right, let's see. So good. This is a good ring. Um, I mean it's you know could be better, but counter. See, uh, I'll probably stack. He does a lot of damage. Like, he hits for like 250 or something crazy. I had 1700 health the last time I fought him. Um, so this is, I'm definitely going in pretty light. Uh, going in for this, to this fight. This song sounds like Metallica when it first sounds out, starts out. You probably heard it like three times so far since we played. Here it is. Okay, uh, I didn't think we were going to make it to this point, but uh, here we are. So we only have what? We have a King Slime coming up, and let's check our weapons. So first off, we know the ring's going to be good, so let's the ring on there. Um, I have another perk to get. I don't know when this happened. <laughs> Damage is increased by 20% of defense value. Let's see, defense 19. Knight has weak defense right now, actually. Attempts a chance upon hitting to stun the target for one second. Article of protection after receiving this effect and after every loop. The hero receives a bar of phantom protection that equals 65% of its max HP. This actually might be... Oh, all damage dealt to it is ignoring defense. Okay, so it's not really... Like, okay, it's not... It's good, It's good, but it's gonna get wiped pretty quickly. Huh. There was a chance upon a hit to the substantial target for one second. This might be better overall. To keep him kind of stunned. 10% happens often. At least 1 out of 10. <laughs> Uh, damage is increased. Okay, well, so by 20% of your value. So I'm at 19 right now. I don't think I'm gonna up that by too much. But actually, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and get out of this and just do the rest of the swapping of gear and everything. I'm gonna get a whole oh, 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 before we get across that because that's gonna give me what? How much HP? 50 HP. Okay, that's really gonna give me too much. Okay, boom. Um, let's. Woo! Careful. Damage. Okay, that's useless. Let me see. Shield, defense, three, regen. That's pretty good. Um. See, attacks me vampirism. I'm gonna lose vampirism. Oh man, attack speed. Attack speed would be good, especially because I have if I go with the 10% thing. Let's use this. Let's do the 10% stun. Let's put the metal down. Let me see. Grove. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Uh, Vampires with 16 and regen. Okay, this is. Hold on a second. Did I just put this in there? No, I put the shield in. So that's pretty good. All this planning. Oh, 18% counter though. Oh, man. Oh, more attack speed. You know what? We should probably sack attack speed. Just to, again, again. To, oh, shit. <laughs> that was, oh, no, no, no. That was, that was right. That was right. That was right. Okay, sorry, sorry. That was right. That was right. I'm losing my mind right now. Uh, let's see, counter. My counter is 11 right now. I can hope that I get something off of this next guy here. 336 defense, magic damage, defense. I mean, either one of these would be pretty good, but let's fight this next guy and then we'll see what we get. Those tiny little slime. Okay. We got, oh man, that's all we got. Okay, oh man. All right, let's see. Um. We need, a, we need a weapon replacement because this one is just vampir. Well, you know, it, it is vampirism is not bad. It's just we're not stacking it. You know, that's the problem. Counter. I think we should go defense. Counter. I mean, pure pure evasion would be better because we don't want to take the hits or defense. One of the two. Oh, you know, counter is another hit though. Okay, so now we have. Let's see. Our counter is twenty four percent. It's more hits. Our attack speed is thirty six percent. More hits. And we have the uh, chance when I hit a target to stun target for one second. So I think this is the best possible build out of this. I'm, this is this freaking run is going perfectly. Uh, oh gosh, and we got the morning right before we got here. Oh man. Okay. So he says, "How is it possible?" Now it was funny. The next line is pretty funny. She says, "That's right. You haven't wait a second. This conversation. I remember. I've already killed you. What the hell is happening here? Killed me. It's oh, I see. So that's how it is." I'm just an after image, not the original. You have no idea what you've done. And how many times do I have to do this world a favor by slicing you in half? I don't think that you're able to comprehend this. 
I am part of a self-defense mechanism, a multitude of copies sent to different realities at the moment of death. My destruction cannot be fixed, but in an endless series of attempts, different outcomes are possible. I have defeated you once, and I could do it again. Here we go. Ah, <sighs> all we could do right now is just sit back and wait. I mean, I have, I have three potions. I'm doing good work. This is great damage here. Has the stun happened yet? <laughs> Oh man, oh god, but he's still, he's hurting though. Oh god, this is gonna be close. Oh, this is done. Come on, oh my god, this is gonna be so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, got another counter, got another counter. No! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> this man had no health. I'm so sad. <laughs> I did everything that I possibly could. You know what? Now I gotta look at it again. And it's like, okay, was there something I could have done differently? Was there something in there I could have set up differently? Oh my god. All right, let's get into the build part. Damn it. Okay, it's fine. So, going to the builds. I won't cover the supply. I'll briefly go over the supply and craft. Actually, we'll do that right now. So, this is that cheese that popped up, right? It says plus one HP after killing an enemy. Um, so there's, these are, and I just got this, right? So you could basically craft, uh, foods. Um, yeah, like, so, yeah, if I get another one of whatever this is, uh, then I can craft a, another food, and then I could take that food, and I could place it in supply. I'm still learning how this part functions. Uh, I was actually surprised when I saw this. I was like, wow, there's another layer here of things that I could do in terms of, like, you know, kind of augmenting my runs and making my runs, you know, uh, um, a little bit easier, especially going back and doing chapter one again, if you want to farm that for mats, which you totally could. But I mean, like this run took like, I mean, what time is it right now? It's, uh, it's this, this run took like almost an hour, right? There's was a lot of explaining, but like I said, probably 45 minutes or so uh, per run is, is not uncommon. Uh, let me see. Now, if I beat that boss, that would have been, I think that kind of ends it right there, or it gives you option to end it. You might be able to continue walking, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so build. So this is where you go and you could spend some of those resources. I could, if I had more, here we go, a cemetery. You could build a cemetery. So it says, passing through the cemetery on expeditions grants you a memory fragment. Can resurrect a hero after an upgrade. Ooh, interesting. Let um, me see. There's a mud hut, too. You can give residents furniture or food to store. Let um, me see. Unlocks new class rogue. I already got the rogue. And so unlocks ability to gain special traits, killing monsters. Now, you could place these things, and each one, again, does something different. This one says, let's just start your expedition with basic warrior's gear. Uh, notice that it's not rogue's gear. It, it, it just gives you warrior's gear. So I'll get a shield and some, uh, you know, a chest piece or whatever, and a sword for my rogue, and the rogue cannot equip the shield. Um, but like I said, like I told you, sometimes you just want to leave it in there, just let that be loot that you just end up like, you know, just turning to scrap metal. Uh, but I believe you can upgrade them. And if you see, was this the smith right here? That's a gem. Let's see, farm. Smithy, smithy here. So yeah, I can upgrade this. Let me see, unlock Smith's Forge, let you start with basic gear for any class. Yeah, so if I, if I upgrade this one more time, then it could be for any class. So yeah, not only can you place items, like I'm gonna go ahead and place one here. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna place a, um... A building, a place, probably a cemetery. And I'll put it like, I don't know, here in the end. And then it uses some resources. And then, yeah, here we go. So then you're going to get a dialogue here with a character that says, Thank you. It's a nice place, calm here. There, there are some people, but quiet ones. Uh, they look a bit grim, but they can tell you many things if you can listen. Uh, so yeah, each each one, each time you build one, a, a new, uh, you know, a place, a new um, a building or structure, then they'll give you a little bit more story. So it's a like, the story is pretty interesting. I'm curious like how this kind of unfolds. Um, I don't know if it's like some weird multi-dimensional stuff or whatever, but that's what that 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 lich was kind of alluding to that there was some kind of multiverse or something going on. You know, kind of like uh, kind of like you know Marvel and whatnot. Uh, but. <laughs> um, I think that's good. I think that's a wrap, guys. I think that's a wrap, man. This game is so, 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 so good. It's blowing up right now. Um, it is just getting uh, so much, so much well-deserved attention. Uh, it is $14.99 on Steam. Um, it, it, it goes on sale. It, the launch sale was at twelve seventy-four uh, for fourteen ninety-nine. Like this is a game that's definitely going to do you right for a long time. You can wait to see if there's ever going to be a uh, or you know how soon a mobile version would come out for this. Uh, but if you need something that's some good second monitor stuff, which I don't know how you do that, uh, <laughs> then you could totally do it with Loop Hero. So. 
Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike VAK Phony. Appreciate you guys sticking out there on this run. I really wish I could have got that one extra. I know there's probably one piece of gear I could have swapped that could have made all the difference in the world, but it didn't happen. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.